So today I've been working on cradles to support the horizontal stabilizer parts when I uh, assemble them and mash drill them and then uh, later final assemble them and rivet them together. So the plans call for four cradles made out of three eighths or greater plywood and you know they suggest you click some rib parts together, draw the shape, make a template, and then you know cut that out of the plywood. But I'd seen online where some folks make these uh, cradles out of straps that allow the whole thing to move around a little bit, give you some room to tilt it, and, and you know maybe a little more freedom of, of movement when you're working. I debated. Uh, I suppose there's an argument that could be made for having the freedom of movement. There's an argument that can be made for having something that holds it nice and, and firmly for you when you're working. I figured I could go ahead and make these, and if I felt like things were moving around too much, I could you know cut some plywood and put it. I put it on one or two of them that would you know then lock things down a little tighter so that's what I decided to do this is all just scrap I had laying around uh, two by four for the base here two by four ripped in half for the vertical pieces this is some luggage strap that I got at the hardware store just happened I, I just happened to have it laying around but nothing expensive at all and I just cut it and then you know some scrap plywood for reinforcement here uh, the base is wider than the top, of course, so that it gives me uh, ample places to clamp it down, or if I needed to screw it to the table out in the center, I'll have you know plenty of base to work with there. And yeah, so I've made one as sort of a prototype. There's nothing special about these dimensions. I just, again, I used this, laid it on the table, just kind of took some rough measurements and went off and built this. And uh, if it happens that it works out really well, maybe I'll put the dimensions in the description in case anybody wants to use them but again I just sort of made it up as I went along. Uh, I've gone ahead and cut all the other parts that I need to make three more of these so uh, that's what I'm gonna do now. So slight change of plans. Uh, obviously I recorded that after I had already built the first cradle uh, but I just decided to use that as the intro to the video. So as I said, I click together a nose rib and inspar rib just to use as a guide took some really rough measurements and scribbled down uh, you know some quick plans just to figure out how much wood I would need found everything I needed in in my scrap pile and uh, so here I am marking uh, these will end up being the uprights so I'll need uh, four of these and I'm gonna rip them in half uh, so that's what I'm doing here took them upstairs to the table saw and ripped them in half uh, to make eight uh, eight uprights for the four stands. And it's made me cringe when I watched it because it looks like my fingers are awfully close to that blade, but they're not. Uh, and so here, these are the bases. I ended up uh, just ripping one side off of each uh, piece that was going to be the base, just a little bit, uh, just so I'd have a flat, you know, a nice uh, flat side to align everything. And uh, so I clamped under the corner of my work table uh, just to keep things square and hold it while I drilled and ran some screws up in there. And uh, let's see, so here I, uh, I went and cut the, uh, that scrap piece of plywood up into eight five by five little triangles to use as reinforcement. And uh, so this is just a luggage strap that I happen to have laying around, just really cheap stuff. It was about, I think it was, I think I had two eight-foot-long pieces, so I cut them in half to give me four four-foot-long pieces, and then they didn't really need to be that long. But I just sort of fiddled around with it, uh, taped it in place, judged how long it needed to be, and uh, made four of them like that. I did uh, mark them on the table and, you know, try to make sure that each one was, was the same length, so that uh, the amount of strap hanging down inside the four cradles that I end up making are the same. And uh, now I just eat my lunch and make three more of them. So after I finished building the other three, uh, I went ahead and clamped them to the table and went and got one of the horizontal stabilizer skins and tried it out. Uh, so there you can see it works just fine. And since the skin is not clecoed or riveted to any ribs yet, it's actually fairly springy, and so it, it stays pretty still in there. So that's about it. Uh, this one's another short one. Uh, I'm a lot farther along with the real plane than I am with uh, making the videos, but hopefully I'll have some more stuff up here soon.